Paulo ne sila ngabali mukomera te bakubira abantu babasinga buyinza bamanya trigger sobolo bayisa kubye bayitamba basebone banyabo buweleza bwoko saba we busumula phase zenja ulombula mu bwafe omusanyi obo muchalo omusabi tafira mu mbera Kusabachi, <laughs> Because what pleases the one you are called for. Praise our Lord, my friends. I greet in the name of our Jesus Christ. I thank God again for this day that he has enabled me to come and minister unto you. I'm by name of Pastor Chris Chisache. I'm a mild man. My wife is called Phoebe Chisache. I pastor a church called the Rehoboth Prayer Ministries in Nabingo. I thank God for the grace that he has given us. I honor God my friend where he has kept it from. And I begin by thanking everybody that is following all the sermons that we preach. May the Lord bless you. Our sermons are on YouTube, on Facebook, on Facebook. Even you who follow us on Rehoboth Family on Nambingo. May the Lord bless you. I believe God is not going to leave you the same. We pray for this gospel. And we believe God that whoever that sees it and follows it, may the Lord meet their lives. We have shared a lot on the power that resurrected Jesus Christ. And we still talk about it. I believe many people have been blessed. So I pray for the gospel that works for you. Do not feed it alone. Share it. Give it someone else. You make it more. For the Lord to meet his people. For the Lord to deliver his people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even today. I want to thank God. Who has enabled us to come and minister unto you. And we are going to share the word of God. And we are going to pray. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we thank you. This is the time you've prepared for us to share your words. I pray, O oh Lord, whoever that watches and listens to this may gospel, may the power of the cross, may the power hiding to your grace meet his life. The sick one to be healed. The one who is bound to be blessed. The one who is bound to be blessed. The one who is in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I begin by telling you that our God is faithful and his faithful is ever I don't know what situation you are going through. I don't know where you depend to be sincere. But whenever you are, the Lord is what has no limit. God is what has no limit. Whenever you are, it may find you. And I pray as I begin. Let the word of the Lord heal you. Let the word of the Lord heal you. The Lord deliver you. May the word of God touch your life. May it provide. You who needs a job, may it give it to you. You who needs a job, may it give it to you. Whatever need before you. Our God is faithful to provide. And He will meet your life. And I pray that He will provide. You do great and mighty things. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. 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 Let's pray.
have a word I failed to share. I'm going to spend time sharing it. I pray for the Lord to give you the grace before this gospel. I, get, I am pleased. I get pleased. And I get joy to get to know the, the truth of the word of God. And God. I enjoy to share it. I have a word I've been feeding to my God. They call it the grace of God. The grace of God. This word has been upon my heart. I was feeling it. I press through it. And I search it through scripture. I search for it through different. Hearing that many people talk about the grace of God. But I feel that some people they do not pull out the truth about that so word. So today I'm going to share about the theme called and I'm going to take time sharing about it in the name of Jesus. If you look at this part one, I ask you to fall even part I'm going to share about these themes through this message. Amen. I'm going to share about what is the grace of God. Different kinds of the grace of God. I'm going to teach you about the general grace. I'm going to talk about the grace that saves. I'm going to talk about the grace that lifts. I'm going to teach about the grace that enables. I'm going to talk about different graces upon different people. But I promise you by the end, you will not be lied again. You get to know that what is the grace of God. What does it do in someone's life? How do they get it? Where is it come from? Who is the owner? What why is he serving in the name of Jesus? Not only that, we are going to pray for this place to come upon your life in the name of Jesus. I, I want us to learn. I thank God for the people who follow us. Those who tell that pastor we are learning. Whenever we see you, we write down. I get priest of God. You know every, any truth that you understand. No one can steal it out of you. And it's the one that brings peace upon yes, your life. That's what Jesus talks about in John 8. Let's read about John chapter 8. Verse 31 and 32. John 8. Verse 31 and 32. Verse 31 and 32. We are in John chapter 8. Verse 31 to 32. Jesus said to the people who believed in him. You are truly my disciples. If you remain faithful to my teachings. 32. And you know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Praise the Lord. As Jesus went on teaching the word, as he was doing that ministry when he was in fresh, many people called him Elijah. Some called him Jeremiah. And others thought that one of the powerful prophets has rejected. What bothers Kerode? He said that I killed John. Now where does this one come from? Maybe it's Yokan who has replaced. So many people are disturbed by the Jesus' Christ. So he told them difficult words. That chapter he tells them that he is older than Abraham. Then it bothered them a lot. He was like in 33. Abraham died when he was 100 and plus. But when he lived a long time ago, now they saw that he was mad. So he told them, if you get to know that truth, it's going to set you free. Child of God's salvation is good. It is real. Christ is real. Jesus is so powerful. And he is able. But whenever I do not understand the truth about salvation, some people do not want to be taught. The church doesn't want to be taught. But a church gets established because of learning. 
church is established because so of the so child of God. If you are to be strengthened in the journey, you have to understand that truth. And it's going to set you free. I want you to follow the word. You understand about the, the, the truth about the grace of God. You are going to be free. You are not going to be lied again. In the name of Jesus. I want to begin by asking. What is the grace of God? Is the divine ability that enables us to do things beyond our strength? Or beyond our understanding? Let me say it again. The grace of God is the divine ability that enables us to do things beyond our strength. Or beyond our own understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the divine ability that enables us to do things beyond our humanity, beyond our strength, beyond what we know, beyond our understanding. That's why the apostles, Jesus finds them at the lake. He finds them fishing. They never learned. They didn't know anything. It bothered even the Jews. They thought that Jesus was illegal. Ill- 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 he has never went through Bible school. But he came out to words that are better than those of the Pharisees. What enabled him? What helped the apostles? What helps the minister? It's the grace of God. It's the divine ability. It's not the power, the humanity power. No. It's God is ability. It is a divine ability. Divine ability. Amen. That enables us to do things that are beyond our understanding. Let me give you the second point. Is the freely given unmerited favor? Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We've seen that the grace of God is God's ability that enables us to do things that are beyond our understanding. Do things that are beyond our ability. Do things that are beyond, things that are beyond humanity. So I want to proceed sharing about different kinds of grace. Different kinds of grace. The grace has different levels. Before you read that grace that says, you've not yet read that grace that you have I'm going to talk about one, the first grace that I want you to learn. It's called the grace of grace. It's 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 the Everybody it provides for it me. It gives breath to the creation. It even gives oxygen to people. Praise the Lord. So this grace. The Bible teaches about it in Isaiah 54 verse 8. We are going to read there. Isaiah 54 verse 8. I want you to follow. Follow me as I share By the end, we'll be understanding the grace that you hear. So, all the people that are not born again, even as born again, there is the grace that it covers our soul. The grace that connects all us. They call it the general grace. And it's the first grace on this earth. It covers everybody, whether evil or good. Even if someone is from Mother. It remains providing oxygen until the owner decides. Even if someone comes from night, even if someone is from throwing a child, it remains big talking. So this is general grace. It doesn't, it isn't upon the church. It isn't upon the It is hovering the old creation. It's hovering the old creation. Isaiah 54 verse 8 says, In a burst of anger, I turned my face away for a little while. But with everlasting love, I will have compassion on you. 
says the Lord your redeemer. Hallelujah. Amen. Mukama favors me. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 5 mwenye ulo munana. Mukama ayogera ku kwagalo oku. The God the Lord talks about that love. Bible zenje lo zigamba ekisa. Different Bibles talk about. Yabagamba anga sigenda kubajja ko kisacha ange. That I'm not going to take out my grace. Tinga maziga no wa bwegama na ngagenda. As the water of Nuwa went. Nange sigenda bajja ko kisacha. I'm not going to take away my grace. Katiense no katonda ino kwagala ku yajisa ko kujigata. So God put upon that love that connects this world. Ndifene nkuba kwetonye wo musamize nawe yasabye that whether the, the rain rains to the social, even you who prays in tongues, it rains. If it shines to the believer, even to the social, it shines. This grace is so amazing. You see someone murdering children, but when he's bearing fruits, when his garden bears fruit. So he's not the one doing it. The other grace that is hovering. That grace that doesn't discriminate. That grace that just grace. It enables the creation to multiply. It enables people to be lying. Praise the Lord. Let's go into the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 45. Up to 45. Jesus talked about something. You have heard the law that says, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. 44. But I say, Love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you. Verse 45. In that way, you will be acting as true children of your Father in heaven, for he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good, and he sends rain on the just and the unjust alike. Praise the Lord. What I was talking about is what Jesus is establishing in 45. In verse 45. That God gives rain to the evil and the good ones. This general grace it is hovering. Praise the Lord. And all the people in this world when some people who can do the this gives them life. You find a social when he serves, he gets grace. Because this grace is there. Praise the Lord. The general grace. The general grace. Why am I sharing about these words? As we are going to talk about the grace, because, it, because I find people, they say that I'm doing well. I'm even better than born This grace is general. You find someone who is so, so when his plant is there, you find someone who is a mother. When he's raping men, but when his shop is moving, when he doesn't have even city, he's in that general place. He's getting free oxygen. He's getting food. He's getting growth. This it's this grace that grows. Someone is born and it helps him. That general grace. Why is it general? Because everything hovering on the earth is covered by that grace, the name of Jesus. I want to go to the second thing. We are sharing about different kinds of grace. So when Christ came on the cross, he separated us from something. He had a journey that he began. He had a journey that he began. So in the Old Testament, God wanted to bring out his people so that they tap into that goodness. But it wasn't possible. Because Romans 3.23 Romans 3.23 says that all people had sinned and they fell short of the glory. From Adam up to John all the people had sinned. They could not free that grace of glory. So when Christ climbed the cross and he shed the blood. He started another phase of enjoying who God is. Praise the Lord. So if you are to enjoy God's nature, if you are to come back into the plan of God, there is a second phase of the grace of type number two. The grace type number two. They call it the saving grace. This is the grace that saves 
that finds you everywhere. So this grace, if it's looking for it, doesn't discriminate. Some of us it finds us in Some of us in this cause. This grace that says it doesn't. It doesn't discriminate. Some of us are the people who found it. Some of you have found when you have abused salvation. Even some of you have found it. You say there is no God. You abused the born again. If you abuse them, do like this. If you abuse them, you used to judge them. But this grace doesn't discriminate. This grace that says it's number two. It looks for someone wherever it is. It says that we need Pastor Chris to save to get saved. Wherever he is, he goes there. I don't know where he goes. Some of you are in prison. Some of you are Muslims praying five times a day. Some of you are Catholics who used to pray the rosary. Some of you are those Muslims that used to put on short Trousers. But God is faithful. This grace number two. It found you. It pulled you out. In the name of Jesus. So the grace that says. We are going to read Ephesians 2 8. Ephesians 2 8. God saved you by his grace when you believed. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Ephesians 8 that God saved you by his grace. The first grace is the general grace. But there is this second grace that pulls out some. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that you have mercy. I don't know why he pulled it in. And he left my brethren. I don't know why he pulled me. And he left the friends that I used to be with. It goes out picking out. It goes out of the family of ten or eleven. It goes out of the family of ten or eleven. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It goes into a family of five. It pulls one. It so as I told you, it's what delivers us from sin. This grace comes with oklumizibwa. When it comes, it has the anointing of conviction. Someone starts listening that he needs to get saved. Yet he has been listening to the gospel of the day. He has been watching the gospel of the day. He had never heard of the gospel of the day. But when this this grace that says it comes with conviction not only that it moves with the second anointing they call it hating you feel like hating what you have been doing you hate the religion you hate sorcery you hate adultery you hate what you have been doing this grace that says it finds you in sin it finds you in sin but it starts making you hate it finds you in sin but it starts making you hate it finds you with your religion. It starts making you hate. It finds you in your dark. It starts making you hate. That grace that saves. The second, the another scripture. It is in Titus chapter two. Verse eleven. Titus chapter two. Titus chapter two. From verse eleven. Up to fourteen. We shall stop there. For the grace of God has been revealed. Bringing salvation to all people. Twelve, and we are instructed to turn from godliness, godless. Are you hearing what he says? When it comes to save, that grace that saves, it starts changing your soul. And it says, "Do not take a woman." You feel like no one has done it. You start feeling that you are not worthy. It has its own power. Praise the Lord. So why am I sharing about this? There are many teachings that I teach that if you got saved, everything Everything is done. You find people. They say, I'm in the grace of God. Even if I'm drinking, I'm 
and good saved. My soul is saved. Meme yang ya tasi wada. My soul is already saved. Already in Mikono Jamukama. It is in the hand of God. So all this that I do, I do it in the flesh. The flesh is going to hell. It's going to hell. Child of God, that is a wrong thing. Some of the people talk about this. Bagamanti omoyogo. They say that your soul is the one inside. Kakati gorendo limu Christo. So for you are already in Christ. Kati nebo we fuluga mbitaka. So even if you turn into soil, olimu chisa chia Yesu. You are the grace of Jesus. Tewari chovera. Nothing happens. Eda nebo kwa nebo kola boti. And they say that even if you turn, tori nacho sola kovera. There is nothing you can do. Nebo gua. Even if you fall. Nebo yenda. Even if you fornicate. Nebo nyawala ji. Even if you drink. Nebo vera no mukazo wakubiri. Even if you have a second wife. Eti sorole chia kwe kadomo yabo. This grace is already hiding. Eyonji kiri zanchia. That is along the way. Eti chisa chiro kola. The grace that saves. Chiku sangeli mu chisa chiri jeno. Finds you in that general grace. That general grace. Chochi kusanga ngab. Chochi kuhu. Tachi tachi so so lachio. It doesn't discriminate. That general grace. That general grace. You can drink your alcohol. Are you abusing God? Yet He gives you oxygen. You spend years. 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 Guiding you. According to Titus chapter two verse eleven. Since it happened, Tito, be it me. Chita and Iko kusika. It starts pulling you. Chigamba guwalo koka. Saying that you got saved. Guto ina kunyamu. You do not need to take our home. Abamu chimu gamba. Some of it tells you. Tod da yomo sadio yomo. Simu ye jifu jiteke mbalaka listi. That put that man is from. O yomo ami abada ina mchiala we. That man had a wife. Echi se chiro kola. That seven grades. Chita and Iko kugo ba mubala. It starts chasing you out of bars. Newe wuri danga togwani day. You start feeling that you are not worthy to be there. Ngaba tamu vusebe ba gobiye. When it's not that drunk and chase. It's not born again telling you that it's not born again telling you that it's not born again. It starts chasing out all the world. It puts a mirror. It says that you have to look like this. You should not look like this. The saving grace. Why am I sharing about this? I want you to understand the fact about this. I want you to understand about the grace. By the time we end, I feel that you will be understanding. This is the first part. I want to end up and you pray. Even today I believe. There are people watching. I want to end up and you pray. There are people watching. That this place that saved is going to pull you out. I'm so happy for you. 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 I'm so Katunda inza bina muri njia mukamafu. Almighty God in the name of Jesus. Tu wabuli de kuchigamba chiti bwe chisa. We have heard about the word God grace. Tu teke denti busobozi bwa katunda. We don't know that is divine ability. Obutu busobozi sokole bisukole mukutege la kofe. That enables us to do beyond our understanding. Tetu mani bijanja lwe viva mutaka. We don't know how beans come out of the. Tetu mani kasoli bwa akula. We don't know how maize grow. Tetu mani muo gongeri jia akula. We don't know how cassava grow. Nye tu teke denti gari wa mani agama midi. But we know that there is power hovering. Cheba yite chisa. They call it grace. Eche chiri jeno. The jeno grace. Echi wabutondo bula. That gives creation to life. We don't know that there is another grace that saves. That calls us from evil. That calls us from sin. That calls us from death. Holy Spirit, I pray. Open everyone's eyes that see. Open everyone's eyes that is watching. Open everyone's eyes that is watching. You open that grace. I pray life. Because grace is power. Let it fall upon the sick and get it. Let it fall upon those who are sick. Whoever that has been faithful. Let the power hide into that grace. Push him to move. We pray that grace will move to the place. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. 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 Let us pray.
njaga nakumaliriza i want to wind up nesunga i'm so excited okunyonyole bigambo bino to explain these words muri nyara mukama face eranzikiriza wetu na malira and i believe at the end ogenda kuba otegede kibayite kisa ndato chabuza abuzibwa en mu uganda here in uganda we sinzira kuwereza where i depend to abantu banji banyonyode bubi kibayite kisa there are many people who are misinterpreting the grace ne bachivunula bubi they misinterpret it kati nekiretera abalalo okufa mu moyo it makes people die into the spirit when you bagamba ne bwolo kokka even if they they tell some of that even if you do everything olendo moyo go mukama abulina god has already you so that is wrong njagalo ngoberere i want you to follow ngenda kunnyonyole kisa i'm going to talk about the grace ngate tuyitambia wandiki through the scriptures muri nyali ya yesu amanyanga ange bampita musumba christ sachi and pastor christ sachi obweleza bitwa reho both the ministry is called reho both prayer ministries in nabingo tusangibwa ku masakalo we are found at masakalo obwa mchibuga kampala from Kampala to Sangwa mu town jibaita Nabingo we are found in the city called Nabingo Nabingo tuli ku kubo elida ku St Catherine we are alongside St Catherine Lord kanisa ya Feweri is where our church is and jagala kuwa program ya ya kanisa i want to give you the program of the church monday sawa 10 on monday at 5 tubaona abawereza we always have the ministers kubo ku bilisawa mukaga on tuesday at midday tubaona choto cha bega ile have the order for the intercessors atoro na kuru elumu and on the same day bela one council we have council sisinkana abantu i meet people ni tusaba ko fenna we pray together ni tukanya songeze njawo we agree about different issues kuruwo kuna on thursday okuva sawa mwenda pake mu kitundu from 3 up to 7:30 tubaone chote cho kusaba na kusaba the altar of deliverance and praying kuva sawa mwenda from 3 pake mu kitundu up to 7:30 jango tuchalire ko come and visit us every friday december you mwezi every friday last friday tubane special overnight have a special overnight eba ya manyi it is so powerful mukama asenga nyobula mbwa god has made people's lives mukama asumunde obula mbwa aba god has made people's lives muri nyali ya yesu at sunday so on sunday tubane service We have two services. Tuba one service. We have the first service. Etandika sawa 2 paka nyachi 2. That begins at 8 up to 10:30. Bili paka nyachi 2. 8 up to 10:30. Service yo kubili. The second service. Etandika nyachi 2 paka msavu 2. Begins at 10:30 up to 1:30. Buli wa Sunday. Every Sunday. Amen. Amen. Anjagala kuisa bibirango bino. I want to give out this. Bina abantu bafa We have our people who follow us from. Ndabugo bila programs za. You for our programs. Buli chetu ko langa mwangala mchibobere. Whatever we do want to follow. Twino kusaba no kusiba. Have prayer and fasting. Twina kutandika nga bili msavu. February. We are going to begin on 27th of February. Kwa nako makumiana. So 40 days. Okuvanga abiri mu sambu. 27th. Omwezi gwo kubiri. Of February. Okutukanga mu sambu gwo kuna. Up to 7th of April. Mu sambu gwo kuna ejja kuba Good Friday. On 7th April it will be Good Friday. Kwa tujyo ku breaking ile nako za fana. It will, it will be the day that we will share. So mipora ya fabagalo tugoberera. So your friends who want for us. The program ngeno mwale gade mujitegere. I want you to understand this program. So twega tako mukusaba ku. You may join us in this. Tujja kwatu gabana ku manyi go musayi gwa Yesu. We shall be sharing about the power of the blood. Tujja bato usanga ko obubaka omufuni. We shall reach the gospel to you. Amen. Amen. Njagala kuisa we kirange kirala. I want to also announce. Buli mwaka tubayo no kusaba okwa manyi. Every year we have the prayer annual conference. Ero kusaba kuno. And this prayer kuze kuchu sobola mbwa abantu bonye been changing people's lives Then you mwaka guno This year Conference ene bera mu gomo sam This conference is always in Ere genda kutande ko kuvanga abiri munya It's going to begin from 24th Ogomo sam Okuvanga abiri munya ogomo sam From 24th of July Okutuka anga abiri munana na ogomo sam Up to 28th of July Kuvanga abiri munya ogomo sam From 24th Okutuka anga abiri munya abiri munana na ogomo sam Up to 28th of July Muri nyara mukama face Jesus name So kubera no gamba nja gena bega teko So kubo tulaba Maybe you are watching Ne conference ngene ngo solo kutuchanda But this conference you can visit us. Because we host many people. Tutandiso kujiranga kuva kati. We have started announce it from today. Kwanga tuzula bayi banafe. Because they are looking for the opportunity to come and pray with us. It is so five days. We are always here every day. And the Lord anoints our lives. In the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, I thank you. For the men and women. That have been following us. Bless everyone that is here. Change his heart. Heal the sick. Do miracles in his heart. 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 Do Eight seven three zero three four. Oba zero msanvu msanvu muenda. Monana msanvu satu zero satu nia.